If you haven't noticed, the world is a tiny bit crazy right now. No! And in this intense and fast-moving energy, it's super important for spiritual people to keep themselves grounded and stable. And one easy way to do this is to incorporate daily routines throughout your day. In this video, you're going to learn why it's so important to have daily routines right now. And then I'm going to share my top two daily routines that I do every single day that help me keep my energy at peace, stable, and grounded in these crazy times on planet Earth. Coming up. Hello, beautiful soul. It's good to see you. Let's get into part one of the video, which is why it's important to have daily routines right now. All right. So if you, unless you're living in a cave somewhere or under a rock in the middle of a forest, you've probably noticed that the energies are extremely intense, right? I've been talking about this for a really long time and the energy seems to be intensifying a bit more as we go on with time. And it really is a process. This is a part of the process known as ascension. Okay. You've heard me talking about this before. Ascension is literally that the planet is shifting in consciousness. The energy is going up in frequency. It's vibrating much, much faster. More light is entering planet earth. And as that happens, it shakes up all the dust down here. So you're seeing a lot of chaos around the planet with just surreal things happening, you know, like school shootings being on the rise, violence being on the rise, um, you know, political figures being assassinated. This happened recently in Japan. I'm thinking of, uh, as I'm shooting this, the recent assassination of the prime, former prime minister of Japan in broad daylight when he was having a speech, right? And just all of this chaos is going, you know, in the U.S., the overturning of, of Roe versus Wade, there is a lot of chaos happening that's coming to the surface as a response to the ascension process. Well, when all of this chaos is coming up, it could be really, really uh, disorienting, especially for spiritual people who are more sensitive and more open in their energy and have been doing a lot of energy work. So for us, for spiritual people, when we walk out of the door and into the world right now, it could be a very chaotic and a bit energetically violent place to be in. And so daily routines come in because they are now going to be able to help us stabilize your, our energy. The word stable came through a lot when I was preparing this video, stabilizing the energy, just stabilizing the energy. And I feel like it's because a lot of us, a lot of light workers, a lot of spiritually awakened people people, when we're walking out into the world right now, everything is so tense. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of emotional energy coming to the surface. And that means that it could feel like we're walking on landmines when we're going outside. What daily routines do is, first of all, a daily routine, what it is, is it's a sequence of practices that you're going to do every single day. So you have to be disciplined about this and you do it every single day. The reason that daily routines are working really well right now now is because of the repetition of the routine. So you're, you're committing yourself to practicing this routine every single day, no matter what you're practicing this routine every single day. And the repetitiveness of that helps to keep that energy stable and grounded. All right much more than if you just did a daily routine once and then you went five days without doing it or a week without doing it and then you did it again, that that lack of stability in the energy, it wouldn't help you as much, okay? So the daily routines that I'm gonna be talking about in this video, th these are daily routines that I'm doing right now in my life. This is very accurate for me right now and I wanted to share them with you because they are very, very, they've been very successful in helping me maintain my energy grounded, stabilized, calm, no matter what's going on in the outer world. All right. So the importance of daily routines right now just have a lot to do with the chaos, the chaotic energy on the planet and how it's bringing up a lot of emotional content. A lot of things are shifting on the planet. And as a part of that shift, there is a lot of things. There are a lot of things rocking and that can really affect the energy of the collective. And we're a part of the collective. And so the people that are spiritually awakened, 
sort of have this responsibility of helping the rest of the collective, helping the planet, helping ourselves too, right? Helping ourselves and the rest of the planet just get through this ascension process and move into a new era of energy as smoothly as we possibly can. All right. So that's the top reason why it's so important to use daily routines. It's mostly because of the chaotic, uh, chaotic energy that we have going on in the planet. And it's going to help you stay in your element, right? Stay in your element so you can enjoy life and you're not feeling afraid of walking out into the world and, and being afraid that you're stepping on a landmine or that the energy is too harsh for you. These daily routines help keep that energy stable. And another word also that's coming in for right now, it's literally dropping on my head is, um, the word, uh, strengthening. All right. So when you use daily routines, what's going to end up doing is it's when it's stabilizing your system and grounding your system, it's automatically also making your energy system stronger, which means that when you walk out the door and you encounter these harsh energies, they won't be able to affect you as much because your energy is very powerful also as a byproduct of doing these daily routines. On to part two of the video, the top two daily routines that I'm using right now, and that I'm recommending the most right now. So these two daily routines that I'm going to share with you, one is a morning routine and one is a night routine. So I do two routines a day with different, completely different energies. And the reason that I'm recommending these two routines for a couple of reasons. All right. The first reason is to stabilize energy. I talked about a little bit about that in part one of the video. So in these really intense intense energies, what ends up happening is your nervous system gets overactivated as specifically a part of the nervous system that makes you feel anxious and agitated, which is called the sympathetic nervous system. That's the part of the nervous system that's responsible for what's known as the fight or flight response. So that's when you feel danger, your heart rate goes up, your sympathetic nervous system kicks in and you run for your life. For instance, if you're running from a burglar or something, okay, that's the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is sort of responsible for getting you out of danger. If you are genuinely in danger. Well, when there's these intense energies on the planet, what ends up happening is those energies hit our energy system and they could trigger the sympathetic nervous system to go into overdrive. So the body is constantly feeling like something dangerous is happening. Even if it's not really actual physical danger, even if it's just the perception that the energy is too intense, the body can interpret that as danger and the, and the sympathetic nervous system gets kicked on when the sympathetic nervous system gets kicked on. It's literally impossible for you to feel grounded or stabilized in your energy because the sympathetic nervous system won't let you relax. The sympathetic nervous system is in place in your body to tell you, Hey, your life is in danger, run or fight. That's what the sympathetic nervous system is for. It's not for relaxing you and grounding you and stabilizing you. So when we're working with daily routines, what we're doing is we're trying to calm down the sympathetic nervous system and activate its counterpart, which is known as the parasympathetic nervous system. That's the part of your nervous system that's responsible for relaxation, feelings of peace, feelings of groundedness, stability. Okay. So this first reason why these daily routines are so successful and why I'm using them to target, um, your, your, to target your energy is to help stabilize energy. All right. That's the first reason. The second reason why I picked these daily routines is to help circulate energy. Okay. So when the energy is really intense and, and, you know, I've said this in previous videos before, but I'm going to repeat it again. We have never lived on this planet with such intense energy ever before. So the energy is most intense right now than it ever has been on the planet. And when the energy is this intense, it means that it's going to blast you. So the energy is really high. It's really ascended. It's going to blast you. And when it blasts you, if there is any part of your energy system, or your body where the energy isn't circulating properly, the, the energy coming in is going to hit you and it's going to come up against those blockages and it can cause what feels like, like you're short circuiting. That's the metaphor that I like to use. It feels literally like you are short circuiting when this powerful new energy on the planet hits your energy system and finds a block somewhere in you. If it finds a blockage somewhere in you, it's going to feel like you're short circuiting. And so what these daily routines do is they 
they help to circulate energy in your body so there aren't any blockages going on in there so that the energy is moving a lot more smoothly. This, the, the, the image that, that's coming to me right now is for you to remember that the previous energy on the planet it felt like we were, um, you know, circulating the, the energy of, you know, just a regular power cord, you know, those regular power cords that you have in your house. If you were to get shocked in your house, if you were to get electrocuted in your house, chances are it, it would probably hurt you, but it wouldn't kill you. But now look at the difference between a regular power cord and the industrial power cords that you'd see outside, those enormous high voltage power cords. If you get shocked by one of those things, you're probably gonna die. That's how intense the energy is. That's how intense the electricity is. And that's what it feels like right now. We're moving from an era of a little power cord to an era of industrial high voltage uh, electricity. And so when we're moving in power, when the energy is becoming so intense, our bodies have to be able to circulate it properly because if there are blockages, we're really going to feel like we're short circuiting. All right. So this is the second reason why these daily routines are so important. I've also divided these daily routines into morning and night routines. They're very different in their energy and their specific practices within each routine that I do in the morning and some that I do at night. But I wanted to leave a side note here, okay? So ding, ding, side note. I'm going to share these routines with you and there are multiple practices in each routine, but it doesn't mean that you must do every single practice in the routine. Some days, if you're a little bit more rushed, maybe pick one or two practices from each routine to do them. So if you have less time, start with one or two practices from each routine and start there. If you have more time, go through the whole sequence and do the whole sequence like I do. These routines that I'm going to share with you, I practice these every single day in my life. Okay. So, and I practice all of the practices in each routine. I use them in my life, but sometimes it's happened too. If I'm a bit rushed or I wake up late or something happens, I, I pick one or two um, practices out of the routines and I do that. All right. So feel free to, to have the flexibility to pick and choose which practices you want to use from these daily routines I'm recommending now. Okay. Let's get into our morning routine. All right. So the morning routine, the goal of the morning routine is to focus more on masculine energy. Okay. So the morning routine is I accompany it's with the sun. The sun is the energy of, it's a more masculine energy. This, the, the light of day is a more masculine energy. And so this morning routine focuses more on the masculine energy. The goal here really of working with that masculine energy is of waking up your energy, energizing yourself, preparing yourself for the day. Okay. So that's what we're focusing on. We're focusing on getting that masculine energy to come in at the start of your day. All right. So masculine focused, the activities are going to be, um, the practices in this morning routine are going to be practices that are going to energize you. That's the main, main key ingredient of this morning routine. All right. So the first practice I do in my morning routine is just a good morning talk, what I call a good morning talk. And this is when I just get up and I start talking to the universe. I say good morning to my guides. I say good morning to my source and my creator. Um, and I also speak, I I'm speaking out loud actually. So I'm walking around the house and I'm speaking out loud and I'm speaking in a way that's very expansive. I'm saying, good morning. I, I also state a mantra. So let me share this mantra with you that you could repeat as your morning talk right when you get out of bed. May this day be filled with harmony. Okay. So you can use this one or a variation of it. I like to repeat these morning mantras as a great way to just open the door to this beautiful masculine energy, to open my energy to a brand new day that's coming. The second practice in my morning routine is active breathing. Okay. So this is a deep breathing routine. This is a deep breathing practice that I'm using with more masculine energy. So here it would be something like a Wim Hof breathing technique. So it's very deep breaths, but rapid breathing. So look up Wim Hof breathing technique if you're not really used to using active breathing techniques, but I'm going to use this deep 
rapid breathing technique is a great way to, again, wake up that masculine energy. And the Wim Hof breathing technique is one of them. You can use a pranayama breathing if you want to, but look up specifically active breathing techniques that has more masculine energy and probably just look up a track on, on Wim Hof. And then once you know how to, how to work on that breathing, you can just do it yourself without being guided, but maybe start there so you can understand what active breathing really looks like. It's deep breaths and fast breaths. All right. So that's, that's the second thing I do in my morning routine. The third thing in my morning routine is the sun salutation. Okay. So sun salutation is a specific sequence of uh, 12 yoga positions. It's called sun salutation. You do them all in uh, you know, one after the other. And the sequence is called the sun salutation sequence in yoga. I do this sequence every morning. Sun salutation, as the name indicates, is a great, great morning, uh, yoga routine. It takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to do the whole sun salutation sequence. Um, and this is a great way also for me to wake up my energy, open up my energy and just prepare for my day and get that masculine energy, that more fiery energy active. If you don't know anything about yoga or how to do sun salutations, I'm not really good at yoga. So I literally just look up a YouTube sun salutation video and I put it right in front of me and I just look at the screen every single day because I forget the, the poses and how to properly be in them. Cause I'm not really good at yoga, but I keep doing the positions regardless of if I'm good at it or not. So I just have a sun salutation, uh, YouTube video in front of me and I follow the, those positions, those sequ that sequence, it takes about 10 to 10 to 12, 15 minutes. Um, and that's another part of my morning routine. The fourth practice in my morning routine is tapping. <laughs> I love to use tapping. Tapping works really well on what's known as your meridian system. Okay. So your body is filled with these super highways, these tiny little highways. They look like highways, but they're made out of energy. They're called the meridians. And when you work with tapping techniques, so tapping techniques, you're literally picking specific points in your body and you're just tapping on those. You're not tapping hard. You're just tapping lightly on those, on those points. And the tapping routines, what those do is they open up any meridian points that could be blocked. Okay. And they keep the circulation of energy moving properly in your meridians. One of my favorite teachers of tapping that I love to use her sequences and her routines is the energy healer, Donna Eden. You can look her up and specifically just play around with some YouTube videos from Donna Eden and see which tapping routine you prefer and what you want to go through. Uh, my tapping routine that I use from Donna Eden, it takes maybe like one to two minutes. So it's super fast. It doesn't take very long, but it's great for keeping those meridians and that energy moving in your, in your body properly without blockages. The fifth practice in my daily routine is exercise. So, um, what exercise does is really exercise is working on the physical body. So you may think it's just working on the physical body, but it's not because when you move your body, when you start to sweat, when you start to move your body, you are also circulating blood and body fluids throughout your body. So the blood is circulating more rapidly. It's reaching areas of your body that it normally wouldn't. As soon as you do that, as soon as your arteries and your veins start to dilate and blood starts to get circulated throughout your body, the circulation of blood and body fluid also means circulation of water because blood is majority made out of water and water is an extremely important energy conductor. So the more that you circulate blood in your body, the more you circulate body fluids, the more you're going to help your energy stay nice and stabilized and with proper circulation. So I love to just, it doesn't have to be anything elaborate. It could be just going out for a jog. It could be going out for a brisk walk. It could be doing some strength training, like some squats or using a kettlebell. You can pick whatever you want to do. And it doesn't have to be very long. If you can only do like a 10 minute jog, or sometimes when I'm pressed for time, I'll just be at home and I'll do a sequence. I have kettlebell bells at home. And I'll just do a sequence of kettlebell exercises. And you can look those up on YouTube too, just a sequence of kettlebell exercises for like seven to 10 minutes. And that gets my blood flowing, my cardio moving, uh, my, my heart rate beating a little bit faster. And that gets those, that, that blood flowing and helps my body also circulate energy. Okay. So the exercise in any form helps not only circulate blood also, but another important thing is it's it helps you 
you sweat, the more that you sweat, the more that you release any kind of toxins that your body may be holding onto. And that can also help with energy circulation. The sixth and last practice of my morning routine is a mindfulness meditation. Now this one just, it could just be even five minutes is, is fine, but that's how I end my morning routine. So I'll just sit there and I'm doing a mindfulness meditation. This is a more masculine energy meditation. Mindful, pure mindfulness meditation is just, you're sitting there and you're just observing the thoughts kind of floating by in your mind. Okay. Mindfulness meditation is great to help kind of decrease the chitter chatter in your mind. It helps focus your mind more and it helps quiet down that monkey mind. Okay. That monkey mind that just never, never stops thinking, never, never stops chitter chattering. That monkey mind is quieted down during a mindfulness meditation and your mind becomes more focused. And it, again, it can take just five minutes. You're sitting there and and you're just allowing the, the thoughts to just fly by without getting stuck on any thoughts, just pure observation. This is called mindfulness meditation. And again, you can do, do, do this for just a few minutes if that's all you have time for, but this is a great way to finish your morning routine so that your mind is now more focused and ready to concentrate on whatever you need to concentrate for the rest of the day. Now let's get on to the night routine. So the goal of the night routine is completely opposite the morning routine. So the goal here is to focus more on feminine energy. Okay. So now what we're doing with the night routine is we're focusing on that feminine energy so that we get into a state of relaxation. This is a more flowy energy. It's not as active as the masculine energy. It's not as fiery as the masculine energy. It's more watery. It's more flowing. It's more relaxed, more peaceful, preparing you for bedtime. All right. So that's the goal with this, with this night routine, very, very different practices than the morning routine routine and the energy is completely different. The first practice in this night routine is dance. Okay. So I love to dance at night. Um, so the, the energy of the night is the energy of the feminine. The energy of the day is the energy of the masculine. And so I love to do dancing in my, as a part of my night routine, but it's a very different dance. It's not a masculine dance of like pounding and, and more masculine active movements. It's a more feminine dance of flowy movements, circular movements. Um, I love to put on some music and I'll just start dancing in the complete darkness of my house. I'll just dance a lot of flowy circular movements, very relaxed movements, very flowy movements. This is a great way to, to start that night routine in preparation to kind of de-escalating your energy and getting into night mode and, and sleep mode. Pro tip here for your dance routine. So ding, ding pro tip here for you is to, when you're dancing, don't just dance standing, learn how to dance lying down on the floor. This is a really cool pro tip because what happens here is when you're dancing on the floor, you can actually start to dance and roll around the floor, move around the floor with your whole body. And as you're doing that, your body contacts the floor and the pressure of the floor against your body, against your skin and against your joints will help that parasympathetic nervous system kick in and it'll help relax your body more. Not to mention that when you're connecting with the floor, when you're rolling around or dancing on the floor, you're also going to be touching the surface of the skin, which will help those meridians again, completely circulate energy more freely without blockages. I love this pro tip of dancing on the floor a great, great way for you to start this night routine. The second practice in my night routine is relaxed breathing. Okay. So now this is a very different breathing than what we did in the morning. Now what the breathing that we're doing is more feminine in nature. So we're using deep breaths again, but now it's not as active as a Wim Hof breathing, for example, or as that morning active breathing. Now the breaths are long, very long and very deep, very long and very deep and slow. Okay. So this relaxing, deep, relaxed breathing, what it's going to do is it's going to bring that body down in its energy. You're going to start to feel more relaxed and you can do this for even just one or two minutes. That's plenty. Or you can do a longer session. If you want to, you can start doing this yourself, or if you want to look up, you know, deep, relaxed or deep, slow breathing on YouTube, there are plenty of tracks, uh, guided tracks to help you kind of pause your breathing and, and 
and pace yourself so that it's very nice and slow and deep. This helps you go even further into relaxation and into feminine energy. Practice number three of the night routine is gentle stretching. So I love to do gentle stretching. I'll get down on the floor. I'll do a pretty long, uh, stretching sequence. Cause this is in preparation for my bedtime. So I'll take my time with my night routine and these gentle long stretches. What this does again, this relaxes the body, but it also, when you're stretching your muscles, you're also opening up any tightness or any tension that may be in the muscles. When your muscles are tight and tense, they can start to create energy blockages in the meridians. So the more relaxed your body is, the more flowy your meridians will be, the less likely it'll be for you to be blocked in those meridians. So I love to do a regular full body, uh, stretching routine. Um, if you have no idea how to start with stretches, just look up, you know, a, a five or 10 minute stretching routine on YouTube and watch the videos and see what those stretches look like. So that you get, you get used to doing stretching exercises and then incorporate that in your night routine. The fourth practice in my night routine is massage. Okay. But it's a specific massage. I use my electric, my mechanic massager. So I use my electric massager and electric massager really, really pounces on your body. And the reason that I love using my massager is because I can get deeper into any part of my body where there's a lot of muscle tension, where there may be muscle knots. And again, I'm trying to use the massager to relax my body. I specifically focus on the lower body. I do it my, throughout my whole body, but specifically on the lower body, on the legs, um, to even help those legs ground energy even further. Okay. So I'll just use my massager all throughout my body. And I'll do that for maybe three, four minutes to relax my whole body. And, and I'll use it in a setting where it's not just, it's not just gently massaging me. It's really pounding me so that I get a deep tissue, um, uh, effect on that. You can use your massager in a different way. Cause there's always different settings on the massager from lighter massage to deeper. I like to use it in the deeper settings, uh, especially in my legs but you can use whatever setting you want. But the importance of using a massager is that it can really get to areas of your body that may be really tight and the energy may be blocked. Okay. So I use that and that really just helps open up my body. Practice number five in my night routine is stroking. Okay. So once I finish using my massager, so I was just saying, I use my massager in a pretty intense setting. Once I finish using my massager, I put the massager down and then I just stroke my body just gently over my skin. Now, now I'm doing a completely different thing. So I'm just used gently stroking my body throughout all of my skin, gently stroking it. When you stroke your skin, it's very calming. It activates the parasympathetic nervous system and it relaxes your body even more. So I love to do this just gentle touch, just stroking my body after I use the massager and it'll just really, my body feels like it's melting. My body feels like, you know, butter melting. Um, and that's a great way also to get into that relaxation, that feminine energy. Energy. The sixth practice in my nightly routine is a check-in meditation. Okay. So this meditation is very different from the mindfulness meditation that I do in the morning. So for this check-in meditation here, what I'm doing is I'm focusing on feminine energy. That means that I'm closing my eyes and I'm going into my body and I'm checking in with how my body feels how my emotions, how I'm feeling emotionally, what emotions am I feeling? How is my body feeling? And I focus in on my body, very different from the mindfulness meditation where I was just observing my thoughts. Now this is a more embodied, more feminine energy meditation where I'm going into the body and I'm assessing how I'm feeling. I'm assessing how my body is feeling. I'm assessing the state of my emotions and I'm just observing them and being open to any emotion, to any energy circulating through me. All right. And again, you can do this for a few minutes or you can do this for, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever feels right for you. But this is a great way to finish off this nightly routine in preparation for bedtime. If you want to learn more practices than what I covered in these two daily routines, I shot a whole video on the top 10 spiritual practices that I love to use. Also, I'll leave a link to that video in the description box so you can watch after this one. 
And if you need help remembering all of the practices in these two daily routines that I just shared with you, don't forget that there's a free supplemental workbook with all of my videos. Click on the link below to download that free workbook. Now I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below. Do you currently use a daily routine? And what do those practices look like if they're different from the ones that I shared here? Click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel or head over to my website to download that free supplemental workbook. And don't forget this video here that I recommended on the top 10 spiritual practices that I love to use. All right, beautiful soul. That's it for me. I love you. I'm out.